Hi guys, what's going on and welcome back to another episode of Total War Arena. So today we are playing with the tier 4 Hastati. So as I'm sure you know if you watch my channel, I'm not really that much of an infantry player. I'm a cavalry man at heart um, and have gone quite a long way down the, the barbarian tree and the Roman cavalry tree. Uh, but I thought it was about time I corrected that and had a bit of a go with some of the Roman infantry. So, uh, have a look at the Hestati. I'm only at tier 4. I've not got very far down this tech tree, although I am now at least fully upgraded on this unit. Um, I am, as I always say, running consumables. Always run consumables. Uh, I'm running the Weaponsmith. Um, I'm not defending artillery or doing anything like that, so I see a little point in taking the stakes or the barricades. Um, and then it's increased armour is the other options, and I felt uh, increased attack is probably the main thing for this unit. Um, stats wise they're obviously a, a very solid unit particularly at this tier at low tier uh, they've got pretty decent ag aggression but their main thing is they've got very solid defense and survivability you can fling them into a fight and they will hold their own you know pretty well um, obviously they carry the pila the light little range unit you only get two shots two shots with it um, and it does a, not a staggering amount of damage but it can be a nice little thing to throw sometimes when cavalry run in front of you or um, if, if an enemy phalanx turns its back to you, you can do a little bit of damage with it. Um, they naturally uh, reform into a unit cohesion, and you also got the option of formed combat. Although, in all honesty, from what I've seen so far, um, I'm not a fan of uh, formed combat, particularly uh, using it when you're already in a fight, because your units then withdraw from that fight to form their formation, and they take a lot of losses in the process of doing that. I think it's one of those things that's a little overrated. It's possible maybe to use it before you enter, uh, combat, but by and large, I, I don't find it to be a useful ability. So, with that said, there's not really a lot else to say about them other than let's hop into a battle and see how we get on. For the glory of Rome. So, we are loading into the Hadrian's War map. Uh, it doesn't look like we've really got the best matchmaking since we're virtually the only tier 4 unit on our team. Everyone else is tier 5. Um, which is obviously a little bit of a worry, something we've got to be careful of. Um, I'm going to spawn in behind these pikemen here and move up to this uh, little remains. Oh, the pikeman's moved. Oh no, he's back again. Um, behind the remains of these walls and have a look at what we see as we head up. 
We're going to have to be careful because everything we're going to engage is going to be higher tier than us. So, uh, could have a little bit of a tough fight on our hands. We'll move up into a formation. Now, as a general rule, I've found, uh, given I've not played these all that long, but I've found that the best tactic with these weapons is just being very aggressive. Um, they tend to excel at being in combat. Obviously, if you're out of combat, you're vulnerable to range, vulnerable to being outflanked, cavalry and all that. Um, so I find generally the best thing is just to get stuck in as soon as you can into a good fight against the enemy. Um, and so that kind of tends to reflect in my playstyle, and I tend to play these kind of aggressive. Although I think in this game we're going to have to be a lot more careful because uh, obviously we're a lot lower tier. And particularly as we now seem to be facing off against largely pikemen as well. Which makes things harder because uh, frontally against pikes we are going to really struggle to do very well. The enemy has drawn first blood. Um, it's hard to know how best to deal with this situation. We have a unit, a couple of units of cavalry with us. Um, but you know, I can't take on two tier 5 pikemen here. Let's back off slightly. Looks like we've got some reinforcing Romans coming up the hill. Really our only option is going to be looking for uh, flanking opportunities on these guys. Because we're not going to be able to tackle these guys head on. Uh, yeah, we'll throw some javelins at them. Let's flank round slightly. We don't, we're, try, we're trying to avoid engaging these guys. We've got the Principates coming up the hill, so that's an opportunity possibly there. And we've got the friendly Macedonians are starting to push around. So if these friendly guys are going to engage, I can then push. I'm going to be prepared to push into these guys. So I'm going to set that first unit to go round. And these guys... are then going to activate their charge and then we're going to turn in on these guys and charge them as we dive into their flank and they've routed which is exactly what we want so let's get both these units fully engaged this is where we want the romans to do their job where they can get tightly in all oh, these guys are in phalanx watch out 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 i've got to break off a little bit here because uh, our friendly unit is in phalanx mode and we're obviously taking quite a few um, casualties as they as they uh, were hitting to the side of their phalanx. That was my fault, not theirs. So let's focus on these remaining little uh, spearmen. They should rapture very shortly, which they do, and they are completely defeated. So let's look at us what we're facing. These guys are facing off against um, a unit of warriors and some pikemen. So we should be able to get round the back of these pikemen and engage these guys get a few little hits into their flank hopefully they'll route nice and quickly uh, they're trying to turn around look by the looks of it to face us uh, in a better angle but hopefully our, our, our overwhelming numbers should be enough to tip that balance in our favor but we are thinking some archer fire now so that's something we've got to be wary of i'm surprised these guys haven't yet routed although they look like they're about to and there they go so let's push up here Oh, looks like we've got um, an enemy group of full-strength pikemen charging in, so we want to avoid a fight with them if we can. <coughs> and there we are, we're now stuck into a full fight with them, which is exactly what we did not want to happen. <coughs> Though, frankly, our, our principes are charging back in, and these guys are probably advancing a little bit too hard into us, which is allowing our swords to sort of get to work a little bit, although we're taking very heavy casualties uh, in the process try and get a few casualties on them as they sort of back out of this. Um, if they're going to back out completely, so am I. Let's create a little bit of distance between ourselves and um, try and throw some javelins at them. No, it doesn't appear to be working for us. They're not throwing. So let's get back on the offensive. Those guys are on the retreat now. Um, and we've crushed those phalanx in the rear. It's a very tight battle so far. So we've still got about uh, over 50% health on all our units, which is obviously good. We have got some enemy Toxitati, um, whatever the Greek archers are called, uh, tier 4 Greek archers to watch out for. Although we do have some friendly cavalry, but they're about to get caught by some pikes. Look there, which is going to do them not many, very many favours. So let's advance down here into the open. I'm going to be careful on the plane. It's obviously not the uh, generally friendly terms for 
uh, Roman infantry, particularly when we've got enemy Macedonian tier 5 pikemen to deal with as well. But these guys look like they're backing off. Um, I'm going to advance down this little alleyway here. I'm conscious of getting caught too much in the open and on my own, like I am now about to do. Ah, that's not so good. We'll cut off a back unit. I don't really want to be getting uh, caught like this. It's not an ideal situation. Because they can now push very hard on me. Although they've realised a little bit the danger they're in. Um, I'm sort of all over them. It's sort of turned a little bit all over the place, to be honest. Um... I'm sort of a little bit behind them and sort of in front of them and uh, I'm not really sure. They, they, they are largely in phalanx. Ooh, we've been charged by some other units. It looks like we could conceivably route these guys in a minute. If we could get these guys to route that would be absolutely amazing. Come on, get in them, get amongst them, get amongst them. Come on. Oh, useless. I didn't uh, get stuck in as much as I wanted to there at all. Uh, so I've just gone, in, gone again, an enemy phalanx all over again, and we're being charged by all angles, and we've got a large unit of dogs that's just ploughed into us. I think this is probably our end. I think I've uh, somewhat overstretched myself here. Um, it's turned into absolute chaos. Some of us are routing already. I mean, obviously, they're being decimated, and what little units we've got left are, are struggling to, to stay in the fight. Um, we've racked up a little bit of damage against that enemy phalanx. I'm not really sure if it's still in phalanx or not. There's such a press of men against us. I'm about to be rear flanked now. Which really will finish us off. There we go. Our Germanicus is dead. And these units are about to rout. And there's a last couple of units just hanging on. And there they go. So that didn't really quite pan out as I had intended. But we did do at least a fair amount of damage against higher tier units. You've got to remember we were only tier 4 in a tier 5 game there. Um... These guys have got themselves into a bit of a tough fight because they've been rear flanked largely. Um, and now there's a mass, a mass of dogs sort of charging in while everyone's still lying on the floor. There's a lot of confusion going on. Doesn't look particularly good to them. The battle is slightly tipping in our favour though. Uh, so we could pan out for us yet. These Principes are against uh, some Hastati, which is our unit. I would expect these Principes obviously being the higher tier unit to win. And I think they even outnumber the enemy. Although a massive enemy spearman has just smashed in. Could turn the tide uh, a little bit there. These Soleres are in trouble a little bit. Although these guys are taking quite a bit of arrow fire. Which is obviously not so good for them. Um, in our base, what have we got? We've got a couple of uh, pike units standing firm against the enemy. So they look like they're trying to have uh, flames thrown at them. The guy is obviously disconnected. Problem is, it's being controlled by... Uh, everyone has a control of it and everyone's walking into the flames. I'm not even going to try and add my weight into that. I think that'll just turn it into even more chaos. So yeah, so I'm not sure if we particularly played amazingly there. Uh, we had a reasonable start and got, got quite a good damage against some of those um, pike units. It's a little shame that the Romans are so slow so we couldn't capitalise on that when we managed to get that uh, tier 5 full strength pike unit to rout. We weren't able to then really apply enough pressure to do any real damage against them, which is a shame. Um, which obviously would have been really good, what we'd really want. Looks like these our archers have got these guys sort of on the run a little bit. They're not really uh, doing anything other than being chased around and being shot in the process. Some of these pike units can be pretty quick though. Um, uh, they're quicker than some of the archers, I believe. As far as these uh, slingers have not started taking some shots, which they have. And obviously they're being shot, these guys are being shot in the back, so they're now taking absolute full damage. Even the slingers, whose uh, attack is very low, you know, are giving full damage. Going to do a good amount of damage against these Principes, though. Who are sort of caught in the middle of this fight. I can't imagine they're going to stay in this fight much longer. Surprised the morale's held as long as it has, to be honest. Well, they're still holding on better than I thought they were going to, although they're now caught in a bit of a phalanx, so it's uh, not going to go quite so well for them, I don't think. 
And some more enemy phalanx. The enemy seem, team seems to be comprised almost entirely of phalanx. That's all we seem to be encountering. Um, some more Athenian hoplites charging down the hill. Uh, although only tier 4 these units. They're going to come in range of the archers soon, I would expect. A bit of a fight breaking out down the back. Uh, some of the legions have pushed across into these uh, disconnected player, which obviously it's easier, and these guys are going to wrap any second now. Oh, they're, they're just teetering on the edge. And they're, oh, <laughs> they can't quite decide if they're about to rout or not. No, they're covering their morale a little bit now. And they've got a, a friendly phalanx pushing into the back of these Romans. These principes may well be in trouble. The rest of the guys are all sort of just on the run from the archers, really. Um, these dog handlers haven't got very many dogs left. And the actual unit, the, the handler units themselves aren't very good. They're just like a very a poor version of barbarian infantry. Um, and they're under strength as well. So I don't, I don't see that they're, they're going to hold out particularly well. Yeah, these Romans are struggling now. I'm surprised they've not routed, to be honest. They're completely surrounded. But they look like they're holding on. There's even a unit of phalaxmen in there as well. Ooh, bit of a shield bash. Oh, one of them routed. Just a few of them holding on. Uh, we've got another mini fight going on down here. The Athenian Hoplites uh, pushing a fair old fight. <laughs> these uh, these slingers are running for their lives. But as I was saying, these uh, Hoplites can be very quick. These guys are catching the slingers. They'll soon be upon them. The slingers are going to be in trouble. And we're going to rout. And there they go. There's the rout. And then they've been caught up with no, even three phalaxmen. They've largely ran into a wall. It's the end of the slingers. Hopefully we should still be able to win this fight. Um, those, um, what were they called? Principes, they're dead. Bit of a fight going on down here against the dogs. But as I say, the dog handlers aren't particularly good combat units. They've routed. Um, some of them are completely running away already. A few of them have managed to escape. Not really very many left. Some rather unhelpful, friendly arrow fire. And a couple of dog handlers left alive. Turning into a bit of a long end to this battle. I wish I hadn't died quite so early on. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, these Macedonian hoplites holding on. They're still a reasonable strength unit, but... Uh, with the amount of archers we still have in this game and the fact we've got some Theban pikes pushing down. I'm surprised these pikes didn't go into phalanx beforehand. Um, kind of expected them to have done. Since the, uh, the these pikemen massively outreach these uh, Macedonian hoplites so they should be able to outplay them a little bit. But it looks like the fight is going on. Someone ran off in that direction, probably the remains of those uh, dog handlers. And there's the last couple of little Athenians down here. No reinforcements. I still expect these Macedonians to win all in all, I would have thought. And these pikes against the Macedonians. Oh, a bit of a charge in there. These guys are trying to back off. Uh, to keep the, the phalanx in some sort of formation, but they're being pushed pretty hard. I suppose they've, sort of, they've done quite well to keep that sort of phalanx in, in some form of order, not get outflanked and rout, uh, considering how outnumbered they are. But now I think they're just being finished off. Oh, and their morale has gone up now. Minus 19 they're going down to. And those guys have routed. So there's only 44 seconds left on this game. It'll soon be over. Do fear not. We'll soon, soon get back and have a look at the stat screen. Um, and we did okay, although we didn't contribute all that much. So I hope you're enjoying these sort of videos. Um, obviously it's a little bit different. I normally always do cavalry gameplay videos. And I'm by no means a, a sort of an expert infantry player. Um, but personally, I, I my play style with the Romans so far, as I say, is, is one of... Extreme aggression tends to be my tactic. Um, obviously, if you can, like at the start of the game, um, whichever side of the map we were around here, weren't we? 
where these guys lined up. I know there was only two of them when we had the friendly principes pushing in. That's sort of the opportunities you need to look for to engage these pikes because if you start to hit the pikes from the front that's where you really struggle then to to make any ground because your units can't even get close enough to deal any damage to them um, and when they're in phalanx then they can do a lot of damage to you so you have to be able to hit those flags if you start to tackle them head on it's just not going to work out for you so how did we do i'm advancing towards tier five with germanicus uh, we came fourth. We did a reasonable amount of aggression damage considering we were bottom tier on our team. We were the only tier four player on our team. Um, and we managed to get a reasonable amount of support damage as well. So, not a bad little game. Hopefully, we shall soon have enough experience to push towards the Principes. It's obviously the upgraded unit, the tier five uh, Roman infantry. And we'll have a look at them when we get there. So, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, if you found it useful or just vaguely interesting, uh, give the video a like. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And I shall see you all on the next video.